Well, it's starting to look like the days of needing a developer to make a simple app or web tool might be over. I recently came across this tool called create.xyz that claims to be able to turn your text into apps, websites, and web tools in a matter of seconds, which would be pretty incredible if it actually works. For example, I run a blog and a newsletter for B2B salespeople, and I've always thought about putting an on-target earnings calculator on the website to serve as a lead magnet or a web page to juice up my SEO. And normally, I'd have to work with a developer to build that tool custom for me and then create the web page. But what if I could just tell AI what I want and then have it build it for me. That would be incredibly valuable. So in this video, I'll be walking through the create.xyz tool to see if it can actually build apps and web pages as easy as it says it can. Okay, so I'm logged into the tool here and today I'll just be using the free plan. If you upgrade to their paid plan, you'll get a few extra features like being able to use more AI models or removing their branding or exporting the code. But for the sake of this video, I'll be doing everything just in their free plan. So in order to really try out this tool, I'll be building three different apps or web pages, and I'll put the chapters below if you do want to fast forward or, of course, rewind. So the first tool that I'm going to try to build is the one that I mentioned in the intro of this video. I'll be trying to build out an on-target earnings calculator. So essentially, this is going to be a calculator on a web page that's going to allow a salesperson to input their base salary, how much they make in commission, any bonuses, and then it'll spit out a total on-target earnings or basically the amount of money that they're gonna make at the end of the year. So I'm gonna start with a new project here. So I've started a new project here and right here is going to be your code editor. So you're going to be able to give it text in plain English because I don't know how to code and it's going to be able to take that text and turn it into the actual code for you, which is going to be the app. So you're going to talk to this thing like it would be your engineer and you're trying to explain to him what to build. So you need to be super specific. like. If you want it to be a specific color in the background, if you want your buttons to be a specific color, how big you want them, the calculations that you want. So here, I'm going to type out exactly what I want for my on-target earnings calculator. So I might fast forward through this, but it's gonna take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna say, please create me a web page that is an on-target earnings calculator for salespeople. The web page should have a black background with neon green buttons and text. On the top of the web page, please put a large text title that says on-target earnings calculator for salespeople. So now we're actually going to do the calculator portion of it so that's more of like the design of the web page then i'm going to say on the left card of the page please put input yields for base salary and total quota and commission percentage and bonus underneath those input yields please put text that says total total on target earnings and under that please put a big button that says calculate when someone clicks on the calculate button please do the following calculation and put the answer next to the text that says total on target calculation should be base salary plus bonus plus, plus brackets um, total quota times commission per percentage that took a lot now we click enter and we see if it does it on the first try let's go thinking 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 now it's building 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 it's looking good it's looking good okay so it gave this to me and I can click on demo here. So this is like the build phase. So if I wanted to change things here, I can do that manually or I can demo it. So let's go ahead and demo this. Let's say my base salary is 50,000. Actually, let's make this easy. So 100,000 total quota is 1 million. Commission percentage is 10% and bonus is going to be 10,000. So if this is right, it should give me 210,000 as my total on target earnings. Let's see. Let's go. Okay. That's awesome. It got it. First try. So first try one shot. It just built this app for me. Now I don't love like the colors of it and I don't love these boxes. So you can edit this. So I could say, please make the background of the input fields white. So go ahead. Building, 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 building. Sick. <laughs> That's sick. Now, I don't love the green text in there, but 
I said neon green in the beginning, so you can't be too mad at it. I could go in and change all of this stuff. You can also go into design. Now you do have to pay for the upgrade, which I didn't do for this video, but if you wanted to manually change like all the radius and background, you can do all of that design by upgrading to their next plan. Now, the last part of this is that you can actually push publish here. Now you do have to have the upgraded plan in order to publish to a custom domain, but I can just publish to a create.app domain. So I'm just gonna say OTE calc dot create dot app claim url publish changes and now view live and would you look at that we have ourselves a web page and it's working i'm just going to throw a bunch of random numbers in here 10 boom just like that now i'd probably go back and say add the commas change the text maybe add a different background but that literally took seconds. I mean, it didn't take seconds to write the whole thing, but once I wrote the whole thing, it's literally like talking to an engineer and saying, change this, change that. And it costed me $0. So I'm excited with this first one. Now let's try a new project here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say new project. And for this one, I'm going to try to build an app that helps people keep track of their favorite books or books that they've read. So what this app should look like is basically just a web page where you're able to put in the title of a book. You're able to rate it on a on stars from one to five. So basically you should be able to look back at all the books you've ever read, input these into a table that can be sorted by the title and the rating that you gave it. And it should be super easy and maybe you could share it with friends or build on top of that. So I'm gonna ask it to build me a book review app. And I'm gonna fast forward through this part because writing the whole thing out takes a long time. So I will see you in one sec. All right, and we're back. So I just wrote out this description here. And the one thing that's a little bit different with this app is that we're gonna have to deal with a database. So when we click submit and we're submitting inputs or, or that data, it's gonna have to store that data somewhere like a Google Sheet, which I believe you can do. It might require an updated plan here, but we're just gonna use their out of the box database for this. So this is what I wrote out here. So I said, I'd like you to help me create a book recommendations website that allows the user to input a book title and a book rating from one to five stars. The webpage should have a red background with white boxes and buttons. Please make a large title text that says books I've read in the middle top of the page in white text. Underneath should be two input boxes. One labeled book title will be a text input and one labeled stars one through 10 will be a number input. Underneath those will be a large white button labeled submit. When someone clicks submit, please add the inputs into. Now this is where we have to use the database. So we'll just do backslash and then data and then create database here. So for this one, I'll just name it books, save database. So when someone clicks submit, please add those inputs into the books database. Now put a period on there and let's go ahead and send it and see what happens. Building, building, building. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. Okay, okay. You see that? A one shot app. Now, what I really wanna see here is when I click submit, does it actually submit to the database? Is it working correctly? So in order to do that, I think I need to hit publish here. Uh, I'm gonna say book app, claim URL, and then I'm gonna publish changes, and then I need to view live. And so when I view live, I'm gonna say book title, I'm just gonna say the book, I'm gonna rate it eight, I'm gonna click submit. Now, if everything worked correctly, I should be able to go to that books database and that entry should be in there. Let's look. I'm gonna go back to the dashboard, I'm gonna to go to data. I can see books here, view all data. Come on, there it is, there it is. So this worked and it actually gave it a ID there as well. So this worked first time with a database. That is awesome. Now the last app or web page that I wanna try building here is a weather checking app from anywhere in the country. So basically I want it to be a web page that you can put in a zip code of anywhere in the country and it'll give you the weather for that zip code. So for this one, I'm actually gonna try out a few different features. One of those is gonna be using a video for the background image. And the other one is going to be using the weather plugin. Not really sure totally what it's called, but it should be able to grab the weather from the zip code that I give it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go over to Pexels and I'll find whatever video that I want to use as the background here. So since it's a weather one, I went ahead and put weather and then I'm going to say copy video address. Now from here, we'll go back to the project and then for the project, I'm going to say 
please use this video as the background on this web page. And then I'll paste the video address. And then I'll say header text should be find the weather with zip. And then the subheading should say weather from zip. And then I'll say add a block that checks the weather using and then backslash weather by city when the user enters a zip code in the input yield labeled zippy. Also add a button that says send it. When someone clicks the button, use the zip code in the input box to search the weather. I have no idea if this is going to work, but let's see. Building, building, building. Okay. So you can see it used that as the background and it's letting. Okay. This is cool. Weather from zip send it okay i'm gonna go ahead and click demo i'm gonna say a random two eight more here i'm gonna go and click send it boom uh oh oh it even gave me a graphic here so it gave me temperature i don't love that it's in celsius condition partly cloudy um i'm gonna say please get rid of the image that pops up okay let's try this again i think it said sure thing okay let's try one more time boom two eight two eight oh let's try this one more time two eight oh send it send it send it there it is okay it's in celsius i wish it was in fahrenheit but that is okay this worked so now we can go ahead and publish it we could share it I think you need the upgraded plan in order to copy the code and put it on your website or your web page. You can also see what it looks like on mobile. But as you can see, I would say this is pretty much a game changer. Like I just created three apps in a matter of 10 minutes or so, and I have no idea how to code. So if you like this video, please drop a thumbs up and a comment below. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see me review or give a tutorial on. And as always, I appreciate you watching and peace.